Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Soul Inspired Seller. Today I'm going to be doing a thread up shoe rescue box unboxing and a summary of this box for you. So if that sounds interesting to you, please stick around. I'm going to get right into it. So welcome back to my current subscribers. I am so grateful that you guys keep coming back and watching my videos and engaging. I am just so appreciative for you. And if you are new here, a special welcome to you. So if you don't know me, my name is Nicole Wills. I am a full-time nurse leader, a full-time mama of two littles, and I just love investing in and growing my part-time reselling business with the additional time that I have. And so that's what my channel is about. It's from the perspective of a part-time reseller, but if you are full-time, it's probably for you too. I've been putting out what solds every couple of weeks. I do different sourcing videos from my buy, sell, trade stores to Goodwill, to Goodwill Outlet, to these thread up rescue boxes and also putting out tips and tricks videos as well. So if that sounds like interesting content to you, if you would please consider subscribing, I would really appreciate it and make sure you hit the notifications so that you get notified anytime I release a new video, which is typically at least once a week. And if you would be willing during this video to give it a thumbs up, it does take me some time to create this content. It would really, really help me out. Uh, I would really appreciate that as well. So if you are familiar with Thread Up, they call themselves the largest online consignment and thrift store. And so a lot of resellers will sell things to Thread Up and then get money based on like consignment. I personally have not done that. I am a fan of certain Thread Up rescue boxes. And if you've been part of my channel, you definitely know that. If not, I have put out some Thread Up rescue unboxings before. I will definitely link them below. As a disclaimer, I actually know what is in this box, which is different from some of my other unboxings. The reason I decided to film this box and show you guys what was in it is because since I started my channel a couple months ago, I've had like insanely good luck with my thread up rescue boxes. And I've heard some of my reselling friends out there uh, in like all good humor, right? Just making uh, little jokes about Nicole gets the best thread up rescue boxes and uh, have Nicole buy your box for you because it'll be good. I heard that from a couple of my reselling friends. You know who you are. I love ya. But the truth of the matter is I definitely have good fortune with thread up. I do believe that. I have no special affiliation with them, just the general referral code that everybody else has but I have found a way to fairly consistently profit off of these boxes. But with that, I've told you guys before that occasionally I do get duds and I do get boxes that are just okay where I might make a little bit of profit. And the reason I decided to film this one is because this is definitely not my worst box. I would not call it a dud, but it's definitely not my best box either. So if <laughs> the very first video I ever did on YouTube and the very first thread up video I ever did. It was like one of the best boxes I ever had. I mean, there was a pair of Tory Burch flats. There was a pair of red Air Jordan Nikes uh, that sold. I mean, just selling them made my money plus for the entire box and then everything else was profit. And so I think that was a little shocking even to me for my first video. So anyways, as we go into this, I just wanted to share that, that I do know what's in this box. Um, it is interesting. It's definitely all right. I'm happy with it, but it's definitely not my best box. This box has 15 pairs of shoes and the box was $90. So that equals out to $6 a pair. Move, and if you haven't done thread up before, always comes with this lovely thread up tissue paper. So out of the gate, one common I'll make and you'll see, I was really happy with the seasonality of this box. And I know this is just totally random. They didn't do this for me, but overall there's no like boots or wintry things in here. These are all things that I can get listed right away or within the coming months to prepare for spring and summer. So I was happy about that. So the first pair actually very happy with, this is a pair of Seychelles. It is just a leather slide sandal. So Seychelles is a uh, brand that is sold at Anthropology. These are a size uh, six and a half and they are a leather upper and have a leather sock lining. 
So yeah, I was actually very happy to, to get these. And guys, what I will do, uh, it, to be honest, I haven't comped any of these. I'm just familiar with most of the brands in here, but I will be putting information up on the screen so you guys will know what I plan to list these around. So yeah, I was very happy with those. They have very minimal wear. And so yeah, I will definitely be able to list those and I suspect those will not take long to sell. All right, next pair. This pair was okay. They're not in amazing condition, but they are in sellable condition. So just a pair of Sam Edelman. They're like an embellished thong sandal. They are a size nine. Uh, they do have some sticker residue on the bottom, but they actually don't have a ton of wear. I think they just need a good wipe down. So I was not sad about these either. I do like they have like the little metal tone heel here. And I do think the front is very cute. So these will definitely be going in my Poshmark closet. I didn't say it, but those Seychelles will be as well. All right, so this is a pair of Asics. So this is a women's seven and a half. So these are definitely in sellable condition. And guys, I've actually been surprised. I've gotten Asics in my shoe rescue boxes before in around the same type of condition. And I've listed them for over $30 and they have sold for my asking price before. So it's not, I don't think it's a super popular brand, but it's one that I'll definitely take time to list. So these are the Jill Contend 3. And guys, if I didn't say it, just for anybody new here or anybody who hasn't really had any experience with ThreadUp rescue boxes, uh, how they put the rescue boxes together, and they have all different kinds, and I tend to gravitate towards a certain few, but basically the rescue boxes are either shoes that they don't sell, like men's shoes, so they don't sell men's clothing, or they're things that have been listed on their site for an extended period of time and haven't sold, or they are things that need some TLC. So they're scuffed, they have scratches. It has happened before and is very common that you might get some pairs that are not even salvageable or that you can't sell. So with that, these sort of rescue boxes, while they're fun, while I definitely have profited off them, just know they're kind of a buy at your own risk. They are really truly a mystery box, right? So here's just a cute little pair of cads. They are in great condition. You know, they've probably been worn a handful of times, it looks like. They are a size eight and a half. And yeah, they just have the little blue gingham. Yes, gingham. Yep. So just some cads. I will probably pop these up in my closet for like $20. So, so far, everything that I got, I probably will list. All right. And these are actually Saludos, so I was not sad about these. I have to see, I will hold them up, I do promise. Okay, oh, these are a size five and a half, so they're a little on the small side. But guys, I just sold a pair of size five and a half Birkenstocks uh, today for $60. So even though it's on the smaller side, there are people that wear a size five and a half. It's not super uncommon. So this is just a platform Aspadrill wedge sandal. They are in really good condition. They barely have any wear on the heels. And like I said, they are a size five and a half and they are the brand Saludos. I will definitely have to comp this brand, but I definitely think it is one that sells on Poshmark. And guys, if you are interested in anything that I am showing you, you can always feel free to DM me on Instagram. My name is Soul Inspired Seller. I'm happy to work out a deal with you on there, or you can just look in my Poshmark closet as well. I'm good with either. So this is a pair, it's definitely a pair of men's shoes, and it is um, pretty common that I get one or multiple pairs of men's shoes in my rescue boxes. Uh, these are a size 10. It doesn't say what style they are really, but they're just a real basic Adidas men's sneaker. They look like they've probably been worn maybe one or two times, not much at all. So yeah, I will definitely be putting these in my Poshmark closet and I'll definitely probably be cross listing these to eBay as well. I do like to cross list, especially my men's items to eBay. All right, so this is a pair 
of Time and True. They are new with tags. They are just a man-made material, just your basic heel. They are a size 11. So guys, anytime I get the brand Time and True, it really doesn't have a high retail or resale value. I tend um, to take this to my local buy, sell, trade store and just trade it in for store credit. So that's what I'll do with these. See what I'm saying? I'm not upset about this box. It's a good box. It's just um, there's nothing in here that's like super high profit, but I will, I will definitely make a profit off this. Probably a decent one. All right, guys. Okay, so this is just a pair of silver metallic Converse. Hold them up here. I need to look at the size because they do look quite large. Oh, these are actually a men's. So, well, actually they're unisex. So they are a men's size nine and a women's size how can that be? Men's size nine, women's size 11. Oh, that makes sense. They are a men's size nine and a women's size 11. Don Nicole. All right. They are in pretty good condition. I have no idea why the, the lace is tied like this. It's kind of weird, but there's not really a lot of wear. They look like they've been worn a few times. So I will likely just pop these up in my Poshmark closet and cross list them as well. All right, I already see these. So this is what I was talking about. So this is just a pair of Lane Bryant sandals. Little, they have a little uh, wedge back here. I don't even know what size they are and I'm not sure that I care. They have quite a bit of wear on the bottom. I might, might try to take these to my local buy, sell, trade store, but these are also a pair that I might just consider throwing in my yard sale box. So for the people that have been watching my channel, you know I am just waiting for the spring. I'm waiting for the pandemic to clear some more and I'm just super geeked about having this future yard sale. Can't explain it, but I am. All right, so this is a pair guys of, these are cute. These are a pair of J. Crew. you see made in Italy. They are a size 10 look like a size 10 but they are a size 10 and they just have they're a little espadrille wedge slide sandal they have like a little black bow detail right there um they actually don't have a ton of wear so these are definitely gonna go in my Poshmark closet just so you know I really do enjoy selling J Crew. it is a brand that generally moves for me and that I enjoy selling it's, I don't want to say it's one of the few mall brands, but it is really one of the few mall brands that I sell on a regular basis. Okay. All right. The next pair here is Fiorentini and Baker. I might be butchering that first word, but that's how it looks. It is this cute little like wood clog type sandal. It does have the studs here and you can tell it is real leather. What I will say is that, oh, these are size eight, by the way. What I will say is I have heard of this brand and I do believe that it has a high retail value and a perhaps even high resale value. So I'll definitely pop my information on the screen once I do some research, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with these. And yeah, they don't have a ton of wear either. So these will definitely be going in my Poshmark closet. All right, guys. All right. This is just a pair of, uh, they're just black heels. They are Marcor Republic Comfort. I have never heard of this. I, I am not sure these have much value at all, but I could be wrong. I will definitely do some research and pop on the screen. Frankly, I don't even... I can't even tell what size these are right now. So anyways, nothing I'm super excited about just at face value looking at it, but I will probably take these to my local buy, sell, trade store um, if I find they don't have a high resale value or a decent resale value, right? All right, Torrid. So these are cute. What size are these? Great if they were my size. <laughs> Um, I cannot buy the size on these. That's what I love about doing uh, some of these unboxings is that you just can't find the size in real time. So anyways, I will research and find the size of these, but this is just a, and I can't tell, they actually, they feel like they could be real leather, but I don't know. Uh, perhaps they aren't. They are just a cute little slide sandal there, open toe. So with these, I am 
not sure. These will either go in my Poshmark closet or I will take them to my buy sell trade store. They're definitely in good enough condition to do so. And they're cute. They're trendy. All right. These, these are a bit on the dirty side. So these are size eight and a half. They're a, a nine West slide sandal. They have the multicolored straps there and like they're like a platform sandal right these are actually really dirty i will probably if they weren't dirty i would take them to my buy sell trade store i don't think even wiping them down because it really looks like the dirt is ingrained in there i will probably throw these in my yard sale box but if they were clean and in good condition i would definitely take these to my buy sell trade store okay last pair these are looking a little dingy as well. So these are kids. They're a size six. They're actually, I might keep these for my son. We'll have to see because he's coming up on this size here in the next year probably. But yeah, they're just a little pair of Nikes. They have the gold detail on the back and they're a size six youth. And they are the Hirachi. I've actually sold these in adult sizing before. So anyways, I'll have to do my research. But yeah, they're just a cute little cute. They're just an adorable pair of kids uh, sneakers. So that's it guys. I am surrounded by my mini mountain of shoes now. I would love to know your thoughts on this box. If you wanna pop your thoughts in the comments, uh, by all means go for it. My review on this box is I'm not upset about it at all. This is definitely not a dud. I will be able to list over half of this box and I'm confident that they are um, in the condition styles brands that will sell. I do suspect I will make profit off of these, a decent profit, nothing astronomical of course, but yeah, overall I'm happy with it. It's just not, like I said, I've had a trend with good luck boxes since I started doing YouTube. And I would say, guys, this is a pretty typical box for me, a box that's just, it's going to make me some profit. I'm going to have fun with it. And yeah, that's why I love doing thread up rescue boxes. So anyways, like I said, rescue boxes are fun, but they are a mystery box. So they are try at your own risk. If you are wanting to try thread up, I do have a referral link. You get a credit, I get a credit. So if you use my link, of course I would appreciate it, but that's it. So I hope you have a wonderful week and I will definitely see you guys soon.